morning, Grace Church. Uh, my name is Lauren, and I'm about to bring you the One Accord Countries of Focus that we pray for uh, monthly. But before I do that, I wanted us to take a moment to practice a little self-confrontation. I want you to ask yourself, what did my prayer life look like this last month? So I just want you to take that question and mentally dog ear it as we turn our attentions to the countries of Armenia and Azerbaijan. In fact, can I go ahead and see a map of those two countries up on the screen? So Azerbaijan is a Muslim-majority country, and its neighbor, Armenia, is a Christian-majority country. In fact, Armenians were one of the first peoples to accept Christianity during the early spread of the church. Inside of Azerbaijan is an Armenian enclave called Nagorno-Karabakh. And just several days ago, Azerbaijan seized control of this Armenian enclave, leaving many Armenians fleeing back to Armenia. There are fears that this is just the beginning and that ethnic cleansing is on the horizon. So when we hear these words, I want us to draw our attention back to the first question that I asked you. What did my prayer life look like this past month? You see, I personally got convicted of this because when we hear the hard things happening in the world or even in our own lives, how do we respond? Do we take those things to the throne of our all-powerful almighty God? Or do we harden our hearts against these things because we look at our own means and resources and see that we ourselves cannot provide a solution? I needed the reminder that there is power in prayer. And our Armenian brothers and sisters don't just need prayer just today. They need it every day. So let us now come together and pray for them. Lord God, I just thank you so much just how you're just so kind and faithful to remind us of the areas personally in my life, Lord, where I need conviction and I need correction, Lord. Lord, I thank you that we just have the ability right now just to take all of our cares, including those of our brothers and sisters in Armenia, to you, Lord. We can lift these things up to you, Lord. So I do, I pray that you would just protect them, Lord, that you would just refresh them, remind them of the hope that we have in you, Lord. And keep them steadfast for the gospel, Lord, even during this time. Lord, if we can trust you for eternity, we can trust you with these things. It's in your name that we would pray. Amen.